Good morning, world. Sometimes we need to change our energy. I gotta say that again. Sometimes we need to change our energy. Um, we may start to feel some anxiety. We may feel overwhelmed. We just may feel bewildered. And that's because we may need to change our energy. Um, but what is energy? Think about this. Energy is the ability to do work. Once again, what is energy? The ability to do work. Remember, obviously, I'm a teacher, not a speaker, right? And I spoke about in another video about getting to work. So what is work? Work is, is when an object moves in the direction of a force being applied to, right? So if I pick up my tape off the desk, right, I'm lifting up and it's moving up. They're going in the same direction. There's an alignment. That's how sometimes you all may feel like, man, this is work, but it doesn't feel like work. That's because what you do, what you're trying to accomplish, it aligns with your, your natural gifts and your talents and your skill sets. But sometimes our work, and I'm not just referring to our profession, our work could be whatever we're trying to accomplish, whatever goal we're trying to reach, whatever type of initiative that we are trying to, to start. All right, so work is dealing with an object moving in the direction of the force being applied to it, okay? And what is energy? It's simply the ability to do work, okay? It's our ability. Are we capable of doing the work that we wanna do? We are, but at times, it can be overwhelming. You know, my work could be, for example, me, this is day, I think, 378. So for the last 378 days, if you haven't been with me on my journey, I've lost over 54 pounds by running a minimum of a mile. I have not taken a day off. Now, you know, I start to feel tired. I start, I start to feel like that soreness in my knees. And that's when I might need to pull back a little bit. Like I still do, still do my mile, but I may lighten up on the, on the legs or, or whatever other additional exercise. But my constant is, is my one mile run. All right, so let me bring it back home. So when it comes to energy, there's two main types. There's kinetic energy. There's that energy of motion, you know? So we're moving. Okay, that deals with speed and mass. And we can relate that to life, you know, just honestly, just that, just the pace of life, the pace that we go, as well as the mass, which deals with the amount of substance in an object, how much effort, how much energy are we, are we putting into what we're trying to accomplish? You know, that's that energy of motion, but then there's that potential energy. Potential energy is the energy of position and shape, meaning at times, you know, we may have a different position. If you change that position, it's going to give you a little, um, a difference in, in potential energy, right? So I have, a, I have a ruler. It was on my desk, right? As I lift it up, what am I changing? It's position the more position, the more height I give it, the more energy it has. If I were to drop a penny on your forehead, bloop, oh man, stop playing. But if I were to go to the top of, I don't know, the, um, the Statue of Liberty or the Empire State Building and drop a penny and it hits you on your head, that's gonna be a whole different story because I really changed the position, okay, of that object. Also, potential energy deals with the energy of shape. Think about um, this ruler right here. We used to have these back in the day for, for math and we just did, you know, geometry and stuff with it, right? Yeah, right. We used to take these things and boom, hit somebody in the back of the head. But when we did that, what were we doing? We were changing its shape. Now it has energy and applying that to life. Once again, sometimes we have to change our position in life. Think about a roller coaster, okay? As it moves up that track, it's moving. So it has kinetic energy. But when it reaches, and, and as that kinetic energy, you know, it's transferring over to potential energy, but when it, when it reaches the top, that's when it has potential energy, okay? For that split second, or that, depending on whatever amount of time we need, we just may need to rest up because we've been climbing, we've been going up that track, and once we rest up, now we're ready to go. The more potential energy we have, the more kinetic energy. Once again, I'm a teacher, not a speaker. There's something known as a law of conservation of energy. Energy is not created or destroyed. It simply changes form. So I want us to practice that in our own life. Sometimes we need to go from being in motion to having that stored energy. Once again, think about like a battery. Think about when you get real cranky, like in the commercial, and they tell you to bite into a Snickers. You know, that's, that's, that's stored energy. That's the energy of position and shape. Kinetic energy is that energy of motion. They could be transferred from one form to another, and we need to know when to do that. I need to know when to do that. So when we're feeling overwhelmed, when our work really feels like work, you know, 
when we feel like there's that resistance, that opposition, that challenge, sometimes we need to switch from being emotion, from in that kinetic energy into that potential energy. Change your position, change the, you know what I'm saying? Change the, change the shape that you're in, okay? Or sometimes, hey, when we're, we're, we're not moving, that energy is, energy is just being stored. Maybe we're gathering our thoughts, strategizing whatever it is that we're doing eventually. We can't sit there and just have, be in a, in a think tank all day. We're gonna eventually gonna have to move. We're gonna have to put those plans in place. I wanted to lose weight. I could think about it all day, coming up with a game plan, but it took me actually moving transfer into that kinetic energy and that's when the speed started to change that's when my position st my mass started to change hey y'all have an amazing day remember i'm a teacher not a speaker